Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. Welcome to this new video. Today we are going to solve a React problem. It's been a while we have solved a React problem. We have been uh, lately solving all the JavaScript, uh, vanilla JavaScript problems only. So I thought why not we solve a React problem today. If you are preparing for your interviews, make sure you watch the complete playlist because it will really help you in, you know, uh, preparation and understanding how to solve different problems how things work in react how you can you know uh, create your own logics and then convert the logic to the code so uh, i'll add the link of the playlist uh, in the cards and at the end of the screen make sure you watch it also if you like my videos so please do share with your friends so let's get started today we have to create this use toggle hook so what use toggle hook does is it takes an array of elements as input and a index a starting index and it will return two things one is toggle so toggle is a function and a value so value is the current value of the index in the array so let's say initially we have passed two and here there is an array right so the initial value will be the second element from the array which is 0 1 2 sorry the third element so we'll get three in the output in the value and then there is this toggle function Whenever we invoke this toggle function, what it will do is it will move to the next element in the array. So the index is two. If we click on the toggle or we invoke the toggle, it will move to uh, third index, which will have the value four, then fourth index, which will have the value five. And once we reach to the last, we'll reset it and start from again. So basically it will go from zero, one, two, three, four, and then again to zero. So that's how this use toggle hook will work. So if you see here, we are printing the current value and then there is a toggle button on whose click will invoke the toggle function and that will change the index. So let's start creating this use toggle. So in this hook, as it's described, it will take an array as input and the index and the index value can be optional. That's why I'm assigning a default value to it uh, whose so that it will start always start from beginning if the index is not passed and then i have to create so i have to track right which index i am at currently so that we can move forward and uh, only forward it's not backward so we can move forward and then reset it so here i am using a state to track which index i am at and here the u state and to this i'll pass the index so whatever we receive while this use toggle function is created or assigned. So let me pull the use state hook. Also we'll use the use callback hook. So use callback creates a memoized function. So if you are not aware, let me explain you how it works. So we have to return the toggle function also, right? So uh, let me return those values. So no, let, let's create this and then I'll return the value. So we have to create this toggle function. Now I'll use the use callback hook. What use callback hook does is it takes a function as input and a dependency and it will return something from it. So it will return some value from it. Now that value will be a memoized value. So no matter how many times this use toggle hook will call, right? If we return a function from this, that function will remain consistent until and unless this dependency change. So that's what we want, right? We just want to update the index and our toggle function should work seamlessly until and unless the value of array changes. So that's why I'm using this use callback hook. You may or may not use this, it does not matter, but uh, using the use callback hook helps in the performance because it does not, uh, you know, continuously re-renders the function. So even if the state changes or property changes, this will be unaffected if you use the use callback. Similarly, there's a use memo hook also. So you can uh, uh, use that too, depending upon your requirement. But here for our use case, I'll be using use callback. So from this, I have to return the set current index. So this is, so this is the function, right? This will be returned. And from this, we'll return this set current index. And in the set current index, we'll access the previous index. So what's 
the previous index was when we are toggling and we'll check if previous index is greater than equal to or array's length then we have to return zero so if it is exceeding the number of elements we have in the array we have to reset it and move back to the zeroth index otherwise we'll do previous index plus one so it will return the next value so simple we have the current index we have the toggle function now we have to return them so we'll return the toggle function and you see that we have to return the value so here we'll get the value from the array of the current index so this will return the value and the toggle function so that's what we are expecting so our use toggle hook is ready let's run the application and see if it is getting rendered here or not so see it is getting rendered and the initial index was 2 that's why we are seeing the um, value 3 current value if i change this to 1 you will see the 2 as output So see 2 is being visible and now if I click on the toggle function right if I click on the sorry toggle button it will invoke the toggle function and the toggle what toggle will do is toggle will check what's the value of the previous index is if it is greater than or equal to array length then it will reset it and start the index from 0 otherwise it will increment the index. So currently the index value is 1 and it is less than array's length so we should get the next value over here so if I click on toggle we will see 3. If I click on toggle, we will see 4, 5 and now 5 is the last index. So if I click on the toggle again, it will reset and it will move to the beginning. So we will see, sorry, so it, it did not work as expected. After 5, it should have moved to the 0, but it hasn't. And it's happening because we are checking with the array length. But as you know, right, the array index starts from 0. So that's why we have to check with the one value less than that so this should work fine now if you see so we are starting with two three four five and if i click on the toggle again it will move to one so it's working as expected so this is how you can create the use toggle hook i hope you have learned something new thank you for your time